there's a lot to talk about this week because this mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is our final episode of Talking Destiny before the release of Destiny Rise of Iron. Yeah. So there is so much to talk about. Destiny is gonna blow up in a couple of days. It's gonna be awesome. I don't mean literally, obviously. I mean just with amazing stuff. Bungie invited a bunch of Destiny tubers. Not us. I mean, we know why. Yeah. But anyway. Um, but they did invite more console. My name is Bife, Dado. A lot of Destiny tubers out. To Washington. To play Rise of Iron's final build. So we've been able to watch the first mission of Destiny. We've been able to see some new Plague Lands gameplay. It's... Awesome. So there's a lot to talk about this week. And all that stuff, that's what we're talking about this week on okay. Talking Destiny. Hi everybody, I'm Tanner Linares and this is Michael Berry. We're your hosts and this is Talking Destiny. There's so much to talk about this week, so why don't you say we want to just jump right in. Let's. Let's indeed. So, uh, there's, like I said, there's so much to talk about, I don't even know where to start. First thing is first. I got my Moments of Triumph shirt finally. I'm so happy about it. Um, so, uh, check this out. Hunters for life. Uh, yeah. And it's it, you can see on the back. <laughs> it's it's an awesome shirt. So shut up. You just got all the moments to try. Anyway. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's get into talking about destiny. Where should we start? We've got footage of the first mission. We've got footage of the plague lands. We've got a new sword to talk about. We've got... Let's start with the sword. Hold on. We have more. We've also got an amazing accomplishment that we did yesterday. Yeah. To talk about. Or two days ago. Which one do you want to start? Sword. Sword? Yeah. Okay. So, I don't really know where the footage of this is, but I've seen it. Basically, IGN was one of the... The, some people from IGN were invited out to Bungie to show off gameplay of Rise of Iron, just like all those other Destiny tubers. Well, during capture of PvP gameplay, they accidentally showed off something that Bungie did not want them to show. They were about to switch heavy weapons or something that highlighted a heavy weapon, so, you know, obviously it brought up the unequipped section. Mm -hmm. And you could see a little sword. I don't, nobody knows what it is. Nobody knows what it's called. Nobody knows how to get it. But we saw it, and it had the, a little Rise of Iron emblem on it. And, obviously, the sword itself was different than any other sword in the game. So. And there's an ornament for it. Yeah, there's supposedly an ornament that makes it look like it's on fire. Which sounds very, very kind of cool. Yeah. Um, it would be awesome to me, but, like, we already have the Raze Lighter and the Solar Edge Sword, which are both on would fire. The flames would blue, though. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Yeah. I would love that. I would wear that. Yeah. Wear it. I would equip that. Indeed. Yes. Yes. I realize that. So anyway. That's basically all I was to talk about the sword. Let's just talk about the possibilities that it offers though. It's an 11th sword in the game. Awesome. Yeah. Right now, though, I honestly think there's enough swords in the game because right now there's enough swords that you you could equip the Dreadfang, and then if you have the um if you have the Refer a Friend quest swords like we do, then you can have uh, in your unequipped section of your heavy weapons the top row all be void weapons, the uh, void swords, the middle row will be all um arc arc, 
and the middle row, uh, the bottom row be all solar. Or, you know, whatever you want. But top row void, of course, because then the fourth thing on the top row being the equipped weapon would, of course, be Dreadfang, because there's four void swords in the game, and there's only three of everything else. But blah, 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 blah. I think it's still really cool, though, that you can do that. If they add another sword in the game, you can't do that. But this isn't even a rumor at this point. This is just a confirmed fact. This sword is going to have to be in the game. I mean, we saw it. It's in the Rise of Iron final build. It's yep. in the game. But, obviously we're going to get this. Yes, obviously. So now let's move on to the personal achievements so we can get back to talking about Destiny. Normally, we wouldn't just... We wouldn't bring up stuff that we've done in the game. I mean, we, of course, but, throw it in there. Yeah, but this is awesome. Yeah, it's something we never thought we would get. Ever. Ever. We completed the Flawless Raider achievement. Three-man team. Three-man team. Yeah. And, well, yeah, I know it's not like we're the first people who have ever done it, but it's not like everybody's done it either. So we thought we would bring it up on the show because we're just so proud of ourselves. We streamed it onto Twitch, but the st we didn't realize the stream crapped out right before we actually did the, uh, our final run of it where we succeeded. Yeah. That sucked. It sucked. Um, but we did it, and it's it was awesome. Yes, it was Crota, the easiest raid in the game, but it doesn't mean that it wasn't difficult. It was still... Yeah, because, like we said, three-man team, we had to kind of cheese that one part, and bullshit could happen. Yeah, yeah, we had to... We had, we had to trick the bridge and we had to cheese the bridge and fucking the way we did it bullshit could have happened at any time that wasn't even our fault mm -hmm. but yeah so we're really proud of that achievement because now not only that but we also got another achievement right before that raiding party that which we never thought we would get because we've tried to get that so many times but nobody's ever been willing to either join our clan or we've never been able to get six clan mates together so now we have all destiny achievements from that are obtainable right now because the mm -hmm. rest are all Rise of Iron. So, when Rise of Iron comes out, we're gonna get all those and, and then we'll have everything. Yep, all the achievements. It's gonna be awesome. So, yeah, now that we've talked about that, let's move on to some Rise of Iron news. Should we talk about the first uh, mission? We, we, could, we could talk about the first mission. We could talk about the launch trailer. We could talk about whatever. About launch trailer, first mission, and Plague Lands. Launch trailer, Plague Lands, first mission. I think would be a better order for that. All right. All right. Before we move into talking about the launch trailer, let's just watch the launch trailer really quickly. Long ago, the world had no guardians. It had only. Iron Lords. Fearless, righteous, we were humanity's greatest warriors. But when an ancient plague threatened mankind, the Iron Lord sacrificed everything to lock it away. Now, I am all that remains. And the plague ravages our lands once more. Guardian. Will you rise to this fight? And stand where the Iron Lords fell. Become an Iron Lord.
Pre-order Destiny Rise of Iron and get the Iron Gjallarhorn. So, yes, we just watched the launch trailer. What's the... If you had to sum up that launch trailer in one word, what would you say? Awesome. I would say... Hype, hype, hype! It's hype, 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 but all one word. I get it. Hype, hype, hype! I'm so... So... Excited for Rise of Iron. I'm sorry. You have to go through Monday school all day. Just sitting there waiting. Thank you. Yep. You at least can watch like TV or something. Yeah, I know. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Plaguelands? Not yet, we didn't even talk about the launch trailer, we just... We, we just saw just, it. Just, just, I mean, just shut up, it's time to talk about it. There was a dead ghost. There was a get dead ghost. The wolf sniffed it! Now, what's I'm wondering is, is that actually going to be in a cutscene anywhere? Or is it just for the trailer? There are some, there are some clips in that I'm like, is that for the cutscene? Obviously, the scenes of the Iron Lords fighting f without helmets, for whatever reason... Obviously that, I don't know why they didn't have helmets. They got too cocky. I know. Um, I mean, I know they didn't get shot in the head and die. They locked themselves away, apparently, as was evident by that. It looked like they just locked themselves away. I don't know why, though, because when you, in the video, she clicks a button and slowly the door seals away. See, it's like, just click the button and dive out. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, why? I don't know. Maybe there's more to it than meets the eye, though. I guess we'll find out. What if we had to fight the old Iron Lord to become all like evil and shit? Oh, that would suck. Um, yeah. But, on the other hand, whatever. <laughs> um, but the, go dog, the, the wolf sniffing the ghost shell, I don't really ha know whether or not that would actually be in the game anymore. Um, obviously, the prelude, you know, where you see. Him, I, Lord Salad Bowl, pull out the iron battle axe and then charge it against the wall. That's probably nowhere in the game. I mean, technically it is because you can click on the prelude in the game. Yeah. Um, but I don't think it actually features anywhere in the story. Because none of the other preludes have actually featured anywhere in the story. The House of Wolves one didn't, the Dark Below didn't, the Taken King one didn't. The... Oh, that's it. <laughs> Rise of Iron one probably won't. But, still cool cutscenes. Still worthy of being put into my shoddily put together launch tra er, fan trailer that I made. There's gonna be a link in the description. <laughs> but anyway, definitely trailer get, gets me hyped. So hyped. Is your hyped, hyped, hyped? Hyped, hyped, hyped. Yep. Hyped, hyped, hyped for Rise of Iron. But now. It's time to talk about the Plague Lands. So, one of the things that these people that were invited out to Bungie got to do is play the Plague Lands for, it looks like a really short period of time, because the most, the longest video I've been able about, to find was only 10 minutes. Yeah, about 10 minutes. But, it still shows us so much. We get to see some Iron Battle Axe gameplay. You get to drive through a giant freighter. Oh, yes, there's a giant... Torn apart freighter somewhere in the flag lines. That looks just so cool. None of the videos showed me where the icon of the patrol is going to be on the map. And I'm like, I want to see that. Because that's just the kind of nerd I am. I just, I'm like, where is this on the map? I want to know everything there is to know. We have decided that we're not going to go into the original Earth Patrol ever again. After Rise of Iron launches. For... Immersion sake. Because we want to, you know, only experience the winter version of it from here on out. Mm -hmm. So, from here on, actually not from here on, from 5 a.m. on Tuesday on, we're never going back into the original Earth Patrol. 
Will we stick to that? I know. We're gonna try. Probably, unless we get like some kind of quest and we really want to, and it gives a good reward, and it's like, hey, go to. Well, if I get a quest, I'm doing it. I don't yeah. care. But there's no way that they'll have a quest for that because I'm sure they would, for emergency sake, not have us go back to the original Earth Patrol. Yeah. That wouldn't make sense. That wouldn't make sense. We'll just have to go to Moon Patrol for when we need to kill enemies really quickly. Yeah. Normally we go to Earth Patrol, knock out a bunch of enemies, but this time. Well. We'll just go to Moon. Because obviously the new Earth Patrol is going to be the hardest patrol. Which is funny because now Earth will have both the easiest and hardest patrols. Yep. I love that. I love that the game starts us out on Earth and now it's ending on Earth. It's coming full circle. Hopefully not ending on Earth, though. I really want us to get one more expansion after Rise of Iron. That's Cabal. And we get a Cabal raid on the on Mars. Because then we'd have a raid for all of the enemy types and a raid on each of the planets. Yeah, that would be cool. I doubt that it'll happen, though. Yeah, probably not. Even if, the, even if that expansion was, like, $5 and it was... Two missions and then the raid, and didn't brought absolutely nothing else. Even if it didn't bring any new item, new weapons other than for the raid, no new strike or anything, I'd be happy because I just want a cabal raid on Mars. Well, hard as that would be, and probably annoying <laughs> as shit. Yeah, I just think that it, they deserve more recognition because we did not have not really focused on the cabal in that game at all. Don't know really anything about them. Yeah. They've always just kind of been on the side, just kind of in the way of, of us trying to focus on another enemy. The Vex. They, they were just kind of in the way. We were like, fucking go away. The Taken. Assholes that just crashed into the ship. They're like, let's blow this shit up. And we're like, no. Mm -mm. Don't do that. No. Nope. Don't do that. But, still, what we were talking about. Plaguelands. Plaguelands. <sighs> they look so great. Looks... I love the art of it. I love the lava. 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 Not magma. Uh, it just... It looks... I'm so excited. Very excited. So very excited. Very so excited. So very <laughs> excited. <sighs> Soon. Soon we shall visit the Plague Lands. Yep. And now, it is time for us to speak of something that we have yet to address in this Indeed. video. Indeed. Indeed it is. And that is the, the first mission, mission of, of Rise of, of Iron. Iron. It's awesome. <laughs> we the, some of the Disney tubers got to watch got to play that first mission, and it's awesome. It is awesome. You st I, we we haven't watched the cutscene at the end of the mission. Well, some tubers have been able to upload that. We've only watched the mission itself. But it's it's so cool. You get to ride the gondola. Nobody jumped on top of the gondola. But we're gonna do that because clearly you can do it unless there's like an invisible wall there. But nobody even checked to see. And I would totally love to do that mission just on top of the gondola. Yeah. Maybe not. I might not do that the first time I play the mission just so I can actually experience what I'm supposed to experience the first time through. But definitely subsequent playthroughs of that mission. Gonna do that. Um, the mission looks cool. I love how when you're about to click on the mission though, just like when Taken King had that special little red triangle triangle thing um that went you know it was pulsating Pulse, yeah, pulsating um and with the Taken King logo in it you know that was red because that was the color you know the color of Taken King type shit um and that was on Mars and you could go into it now on Earth the first planet you unlock whereas Mars is the last planet you unlock we got that same thing but yellow with the iron battle axe and I, 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 I don't know. I'm just... I geek out over that type of shit. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I like uniformity. And I thought it was cool that they did that again. So, r really... 
I don't, I don't want to get too into just describing every little detail about this mission, but I like that there was this one point where people could sneak up on a drag, and every time I saw that, I'm like, assassination. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, Destiny doesn't have those. Destiny two, maybe. <laughs> That'd be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Hunter. And different assassination for each class. The part where you have to jump out of the gondola. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah the side of the gondola gets it it's blown off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry for not issuing a spoiler warning, but we did mention that we were about to talk about the first mission. Spoiler warning. <laughs> Previous spoiler. I don't know. We said we're, gonna, we're, we're about to talk about the first mission, so. We'll, we'll put it in before. Yeah, we'll just. Waiting. Yeah. I have an annotation or something that says skip to this point to, to when we stop talking about the mission. But anyway, so very much looking forward to that. And, oh, we have news to deliver about Talking Destiny. We do? Yes. Okay. Next Friday, there is not going to be an episode of Talking Destiny. Next week. We, we always film Docking Destiny on Fridays. I know it's not always uploaded right on Friday. Sometimes the editing process takes forever for some stupid reason. But next week there's not going to be an episode. Maybe we might film it after, like during the weekend, and upload it on Monday. There's a chance we might do that, but I'm not guaranteeing anything. Because next Friday is the release of the new raid. And... Instead of doing an episode of Talking Destiny, or filming an episode of Talking Destiny that Friday, well, we'll be playing the raid. We'll be playing the raid. Um, I just, I love how I just pointed out the fact that we always film on Friday, and yet today we're not filming on Friday. But anyway, <laughs> yes, we're going to play the raid. We're going to try to be world's first to finish the raid. Mm -hmm. Um, lofty goal, lofty ambition, blah 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 blah. But we might do it. So shut your face. Um, please continue watching. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're, so we're going to be streaming that day, though. So you may not be able to watch us doing it daily or weekly. What's up, Destiny? Yeah. And banter, but we will be chatting about the raid, of course. We're not going to just be like, hey, fucking today I had a futon. A futon. A futon. Today I ate a futon. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh. It was it, it was very hairy, but anyway, um, no, we're not gonna we're gonna be chatting about what's going on in the raid, but yeah, so please tune into that. We'll be streaming on Twitch. It's it's gonna be awesome. Hopefully, it doesn't crap out. Hopefully, it doesn't. Yeah, hopefully, it doesn't crap out like it did last week. Um, or last two two days ago. But yes, please tune into that. Um, we just actually put up on our. YouTube channel, um, even though we've had the Twitch account for a while, we actually have a link to it through our YouTube channel now. So, yeah, um, make sure to tune into that, because if we do hit Worlds First and nobody's watching, then that would be hilarious. <laughs> but if we do hit Worlds First, yeah. and I, we want all of you to watch, I, because I've noticed we haven't been getting 19 consistent views on this show. <laughs> so all 19 of you watching... Please tune in, because we're really, yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to that raid. It's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see, what else do we have to talk about? I think that was it. Uh, no, it's not. There's more to talk about. Infections. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Infections. Everybody's been getting inf- or not everybody, pretty much everybody, honestly, at this point, has been getting infected by mysterious- Space AIDS. They've been getting infected by crucible transmitted diseases. CTDs. <laughs> and it's crazy. But, yeah. Uh, they're buffs. They're, they just increase reputation gains. They have these weird tech mites. That's what Destiny- uh, Destiny. That's what Bungie referred to them as. Floating around your head. There's more tech mites floating depending on how many you have. Um, there's five different uh, um, infections that you can get. But it's an ARG. It's an alternate reality game linked to Rise of Iron, of course. Um, kind of like I Love Bees for Halo 2, if anybody has any idea what that is. Um, 
You know what I Love Bees is, right? No. <laughs> look it up. If you don't know what it is, look it up. Those of you who don't remember, I mean, I know I was young, but I, I remember it just because I thought it was funny. Um, but anyway, so yeah, it's it's really interesting because people have been getting it through Crucible. There's a PVE transmission, but nobody really knows what it is yet. Um, basically, if you get if you kill somebody who has it, you get it. Um, in private matches, if you don't have any infections yet, then you kill, can kill somebody and get them. But if you already have infections, it doesn't work in private matches anymore, so you'll have to actually go into normal PvP to try to get it. But I still think it's really cool. There's a website tracking the infection rate, and if actually if you look into what the infection has spread to, it's really interesting. I'm going to pull that up right now. Um... Here it is. Look at how far it's spread. Oh, wow. Well. Pretty. Look at that. That's almost the entire globe. Oh, okay. But what I think is really cool is... Okay, so it's Brilliance 3.2, Glory 2.1, Splendor 2.6, Magnificence 2.0, and Fortitude 3.1. So we've got 2.0, 2.1, 2.6... 3.1, 3.2. Kind of interesting that they jumped 2.6 and didn't just do 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5. Or up to 2.4. But, anyway, let's read these. There's a lot of logs we can read about them. I read them. It's really interesting because they start talking about how apparently this caused them to sector off the city. Guardians aren't allowed to go into the city. Because of this. And they look into what the um, effects on civilians are. And they're weird. Like they started dancing and singing for no reason. But also, I thought what was funny, because they, they were like talking about how the light is baked Guardians' minds. We're already f fucking idiots. Because they're like, haven't you seen them dancing in the plaza with no music whatsoever? <laughs> I was like, that's, yeah. that's funny. But then again, Bungie, you gave us the ability to dance. Come on. But... I, I, it's they're funny, they're interesting, and if you get a chance to read them, I'll put a link to the uh, website in the description. But it's a real mystery. I don't know what this ARG is leading to, but whatever it is, definitely it's uh, it's a pretty safe bet to say that it's linked to Siva. Yeah, because that's what would it be linked to. So. If you got infected, post in the comments. Tell us what. Tell us the ones that you've been infected with. I have been infected with magnificence, uh, glory, brilliance. brilliance, and glory. And he's been infected with the same thing. Same thing. Mm -hmm. I gave him CTDs. Yep. <laughs> anyway, so that's about it for talking destiny. Prepare, guardians. Rise of Iron is coming. And it is going to be fucking awesome. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that fun loving shit. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. And have a beautiful day. And enjoy Rise of Iron. Yeah, we will. Bye. Bye. Bye.